Hello everyone. In this session, we discuss on the generation and coherent detection of UPSK signals. A distinguishing feature of the UPSK transmitter is the block labeled D multiplex. The figure shows the generation of UPSK signal that is S of T. So the distinguishing feature of this uh, transmitter is the block labeled D multiplexer. The function of the D multiplexer is to divide the binary wave produced by the polar NR band label. So this transmitter transmitter is involved with the input of binary data sequence which is given to the input to the polar non return to zero level encoder the output is forward to the output is the output is forward to D multiplexer then one which represents the odd numbered D bits in the incoming binary sequence and the other represents the even numbered D bits. Accordingly, we may make the following statement that UPSK transmitter may be viewed as two binary PSK generator that work in parallel. Each at a bit rate equal to one half the bit rate of the original binary sequence and the UPSK transmitter input. So we have two pay, two resistance chains phi one and phi two. So we have summed up to generate the combination of even and odd D bits and the generated signal that the UPSK signal. Moving towards the detection of a UPSK signal. So, the detection of UPSK signal is shown in the figure which is going to receive a UPSK signal which is labeled as a S of T and it is given to a pair of correlators pair of correlators is phi 1 of t phi 2 of t then is forwarded to the decision devices which are going to work on even and odd combination of d bits then the binary the multiplexer which is going to estimate the transmitted binary sequence now discuss on the detection of the signal the QPSK receiver is structured in the form of an in-phase path and quadrature path working in parallel as depicted in the figure. The functional composition of the QPSK as I told it has a pair of correlators, pair of correlators which have a common input X of T. The two correlators are supplied with a pair of locally generated orthonormal basis functions that is phi 1 and phi 2 which means that the receiver is purely synchronized with the transmitter because the transmitter is going to use the same basis functions phi 1 and phi 2 and are denoted as x1 and x2 respectively. So the output of correlators are x1 and x2. The next block after the correlators it is a pair of decision devices which act on correlator outputs x1 and x2 as I said earlier by comparing 
each one with zero threshold values. Here it is assumed that the symbols 1 and 0 in the original binary stream at the transmitter input are equally likely. If x1 is greater than 0, a decision is made by in favor of symbol 1 for the in phase channel output. On the other hand, if x1 value less than 0, then the decision is made in favor of symbol 0. Similarly, the binary decisions are made for quadrature channels. So, similarly, x2 if it is greater than 0, the symbol will be 1 is treated and x2 is less than 0, the symbol 0 is treated by decision devices. Now, the multiplexer is going to perform combine combination of two binary sequences produced by produced by the pair of decision devices. So the resulting binary, the output of multiplexer is the sequence produced provides an estimate of the original binary stream at the transmitted input. So this one is the coherent detection of UPSP signal with main three blocks that is a correlator, decision device and a multiplexer. Now moving towards the generated waves. If we observe the QPSK wave, it will be for, a, for an example, the given input binary sequence, it is 0, double 1, 0, 1, triple 0. As it is shown in the figure 3.2a in the next slide, it is there. To define the decision rule for the coherent detection of the transmitted data sequence, we partition the signal space into four regions in accordance with table. So the signal space characteristics of UPSK is having four regions, that is, and these four regions are Z1. Z2, Z3 and Z4 and having the grey coded input debits 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 and 1, 0. So the phase of a QPSK signal for each combination is the phase for 1, 1 it is a 5 by 4, the phase for input debit 0, 1 it is a 3, 5 by 4. Similarly, the Gray code is uh, double zero. The phase of the QPSK signal is uh, five five by four, and for the debit one zero, the phase of QPSK signal is uh, seven five by four. So here we have two coordinates message points. So SI one and SI two. So SI one for each combination of gray gray code input bit debit it is for 1 1 it is square root of e by 2 where e is the energy of the signal per bit and s i 2 having same coordinate values for 0 1 combination it is psi 1 is a minus square root of e by 2 and s i 2 is plus square root of e by 2 and these are the signals if we draw for the given sequence by using this table we are going to get the respective UPSK wave similarly for gray, code, gray encoded input debit 0 0 the SI1 is minus 
we are not talking by 2 by a same as that of s i 2. Next, the last combination that is 1 0, the coordinate for message point at s i 1 having a plus square root of e by 2 and s i 2 is having minus e by 2 values. Next, to draw these wave, CPSK wave, we have a given input sequence that is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, double 0. So, the d bit combination is what as it is shown in figure E. Now, the individual regions are defined by the set of symbols closest to the message point represented by message vectors S1, S2, S3 and S4. The decision regions that is Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4 are shown in the figure. The decision regions are 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So, the figure in, in the figure, the E is going to be represented by input binary sequence and the figure B is the odd numbered sequence that is SI1. So that SI1 by referring the table, by referring this table, we need to draw the waves according to these amplitude values SI1 and SI2 for each D bit combination. So by having that table, we may have the first combination is 0, 1. So the amplitude for the signal is a minus square root of e by 2 for s i 1. So with amplitude value, with amplitude value for 0, 1, it is a 3 pi by 4. Now, for similarly, for next combination, for 1, 0, the input combination, the amplitude is having plus square root of e by 2 with an angle, with an angle for 1, 0, it will be 7, 5 by 4. Now, similarly, if we, by referring this table, if we go on drawing the waves, we come to know for each qubit combination, the waves will be for odd numbered and even numbered. So, with the help of uh, the multiplier, multiplexer we have, CPSK waveform is defined as SI, SI1, S of t is SI1, phi1, that's uh, SI2, phi2. So, the last figure, that is uh, figure D, is going to illustrate the CPSK wave. So, this session is going to cover the CPSK generation and detection with an example. Thank you.